This was the most reprehensible, outrageous prosecution in recent memory. Sharp words after a slam dunk verdict in the Jack Law date rape trial. Lawyers for the nightclub owners say prosecutors should have known the case was a sham. Good evening, I'm Kim Janala. And I'm Kiyahi Tucker. It was a consensual one night stand and nothing more. That's the word from jurors today who took less than an hour to find Jack Law not guilty of sex assault. The well-known club owner and former civil rights commissioner is now taking aim at his prosecutors. KGMB 9 Cedric Moon has our top story. Well, Kim Kalahi, it was a he said, he said case, but for the jury, it was what the facts said that allowed Jack Law to go free and avoid a possible 30 year sentence. A wounds. smile from ear to ear and a celebration to mark the end of a trial that had taken its toll on 59 year old Jack Law. It's been a long year. A 30 year old man accused Law, an owner of two Waikiki nightclubs, of luring him to his home in May 2005, spiking his drink, then taking advantage of him. He did all that he could. He reported, he testified, he couldn't have been more clear. In court, law has always been clear as well, insisting the sex was consensual. I kept caressing him and he kept caressing me. I mean, it was a mutual thing. It wasn't like I was doing all these things to him. He was doing it back to me. The prosecution says the victim describes symptoms that proved he was paralyzed by a date rape drug. Being a man and not being able to defend yourself, being in that position where you're completely frozen and unable to resist, he described this as just completely pulling the rug out from under him. But Law's attorney says toxicology tests conducted on the alleged victim showed no signs of a date rape drug, and there were no physical marks of an assault. Undoubtedly, the jury thought that was a bunch of bunk and that the prosecution was trying to throw the, the wool over their, uh, their faces. A good man was dragged through the mud when there was absolutely no evidence to support uh, any kind of accusation here. And for the defense to suggest that this is an individual who was fabricating, I think that, that was a lot to swallow. But, but for Jack Law, he's just happy it's the end of a bitter battle between him and a man that was once a friend. Whatever he's going through, he's got to deal with that. You know, I, I, don't, I don't want to deal with his, his problems. And Law's accuser had moved away from the state since the trial began. The prosecutor fears what kind of effect today's verdict is going to have on him, the accuser, because he suffers from bipolar depression. Cedric Moon, KGMB 9 News.